In this video, we'll see some advanced view setting features into our Microsoft Outlook. Now, let us see that. So, I am in this uh, training.tutorialspoint at gmail.com. I have clicked on this inbox and that's a view settings which I have. Now, if I want to modify some more features, suppose if I want to change the column font, you can see that's a from subject. If you want to increase the font, if you want to decrease the font, or if you see there are some icons given here in the attachments. So, if I want to change the attachment symbol instead of attachment symbol if I want as yes and no anything else so if I, I can do that with the help of this settings part so remember the column headings and the attachment I'll just show an example here I'll just go to this view tab and in the view tab I have view settings in this advanced view settings we have created separate videos for you that is for the columns adding and removing columns grouping by sort filter so this all this you have separate videos for that we have separate videos for conditional formatting. If, if you go through that, you'll understand. Now, let us see if I have other settings. Now, what are the settings are for fonts and other table view settings? I'll click on this other settings here. Now, it says column headings and rows. If you want to change the column heading, this you have to click on this column font. This is the by default font which is given here. And I can click on this column font on this place. Whichever column font you want, you can select. Let's say I want 16 size here. 18 size that will be the size I want to display in the form of bold if you see that's received here remember this uh, font which is given here the font will be increased and I'll click on OK and I'll click on OK finally OK so if you see the column uh, text which is given that has been changed with the help of this view settings and then you have to go to this other settings same way if you want to change the row font this is the row font which is given here if you want to change that font you can do it grid line styles that is the solid which is given what is grid lines you will not be able to see with the help of this video but if you see there are some linings which are given between two emails there is a thin line which is given so if you want to change the line that thin line between two emails you can use dashes large dots anything all these options you can use and you can work on that next is if you want to bring a reading pane by using this option as right bottom and off you can bring that here also we have this reading pane option and you can work on the way similar to that. Few more options are given for related to the compact size. Automatic auto fit will be given here. So I'll just click on OK. Remember anything related to font, uh, you can see as font size or the solid lines. If you see there are some solid lines between two emails. If you want to change, you can use this option as other settings. Let us see some more details about it. I have something known as format columns. Specify the displayed format for each field. Okay, so format in the sense, right now if you see the attachment format, I have the icon format. If I don't want the icon format, I want as yes and no format, let us see. So, I'll just click on this format columns. Now, these are the available fields. So, this fields you can see on the screen right now. If you see received size category, so I have this received size and category. These are the columns which are available. Now, what I want is the, in this attachment right now it is displayed in the form of a format that is icon. If I do not want the icon, I can just click on this place and I can say I want the answer as true and false, yes and no, on and off. So what I'll do is I'll select as yes and no. So instead of this uh, attachment, it will show as yes. If there is no attachment, it will show as no. So I'll click on this OK button and finally OK. Now what are the changes have happened is if I take you to this attachment column so now the size has been reduced if you see there's a Y given here Y that means attachment is there if I increase the font increase the gap I can the column width itself like this okay and now if you observe in the attachment column I have yes and no option no means there is no attachment yes means there is a particular attachment in this group same way I'll go to this view settings format columns and if you see there's an attachment, you can keep on changing different options from here. Okay. You can change the alignment from here. You can change the width of that, uh, the icon or the text, whichever you want. Everywhere for this categories also, you see there's a text given and the label categories. So all the options you can keep on changing according to your requirement here. Okay. So importance, right now the importance is given with the bitmap or pop-up list. So you can change different format. And all. So only this will come with the help of try and error method right that is nothing but advanced view settings now you have done some uh, experiment on all your settings now you don't like it you want to come back no need to go at every place and clear all the settings there's one option known as reset current view 
So whatever current view you have, the, the, the size is increased. So you can just reset it. It will come back to the normal factory settings or you can say default settings. So I'll just click on this recent current view. Are you sure you want to reset the current preview to this original setting? I'll say yes, yes. Okay. And if you observe the size, okay, once I click on okay, the size of the column, uh, you know, the font text will be changed. The icons which were given as yes and no, that has been changed. It has come back to the attachment part itself, right? So I hope you're able to understand how do you work on the view settings part. Very important and useful also. That's all for this video.